Hello everyone, my name is James Bellissimo, the Director of Community and Economic Development and Planning at the Town of Berwick. Today, we're taking a look at what we're calling the Downtown Infrastructure Project. It's a major infrastructure project, as you can tell. Uh, one of our main stormwater systems is being upsized to be, able to, to be able to handle higher rain events. We're right in the middle of Downtown Berwick. We're on the outside of Sullivan Square. Um, this drainage project is upsizing a pipe to 60 inches. So you can pretty much almost walk through it with just crouching a little bit. The traffic pattern is very different and it will be for the next uh, 10 business days or so. So this part of the project is expected to last until about, about Halloween, October 31st. And then this part of the detour will be um, complete, actually, this part of the project will be complete, and the detour will be shifted back to where it was before to wrap up the project. So yeah, this part of the project is bringing a 60-inch pipe to the middle of this intersection, and again, it's connecting to a stormwater system that goes all the way up through the edge, and it connects to a stream and more stormwater that gets piped down from Pine Hill. And it, and it flows all the way down through, and it takes a turn up Sawmill Hill this way, and then goes to the river about 30 or so feet down this section of Sawmill Hill. So one of the things that we've experienced at least two times that I'm aware of over the past 10 years, and it's probably happened more, is that um, this system actually has been backing up and sometimes floods Wilson Street, and then any other associated infrastructure as it continues to back up in the system. So what this will do is add capacity to prevent those types of rain systems or rain storms from flooding Wilson Street. It will, you know, as weather patterns change, as Chief Plant would say, we're about due for a 500 year storm. Meaning we're about due for a storm that we haven't seen before. These types of infrastructure upgrades will help us better prepare for when those types of storms come. We'll have more capacity to get it off our streets and down to the river. So we had a pre-construction meeting, which went over along with the department heads, main water, and some of the utility companies and our contractor and engineer. It was all, it's all about kicking the project off, make sure we understand the plans, Things like the detour plans, um, it really goes into making sure that the we do the project right and that everybody's on the same page and we minimize the disruption as, as much as possible. All the work here is completely funded by grants and we have a couple more projects that you'll see happening over the next 18 months. And that includes an underground utility project to get the uh, utility poles in lines buried on the ground and also you'll see a bigger project towards the end of 2025 and beginning of 2026 which will realign the street add brand new sidewalks bike lanes um, so lots of lots of work going in but the good thing is that once it's done it's done and again we'll try to minimize the disruption as much as possible